weapons, soldiers, and tactics become part of an immense exercise that sees every element in 3rd Armor Brigade Combat Team 4th Infantry Division working together to accomplish and excel at a variety of missions in Fort Carson's training area. The Combined Arms Live Fire Exercise, or CALFEX, is building up to its two-month-long climax. Differing from other military exercises, a key leader explains what the CALFEX entails. Uh, the CALFEX is a Combined Arms Live Fire Exercise. It's meant to uh, certify and train soldiers for combat. What we're testing is their ability to integrate all their enablers. That's uh, fire support, combat aviation, and also aircraft when we get them next week. This intensive exercise enables units within the brigade combat team to employ all their assets using live ammunition in a realistic and complex environment. Exposing and educating soldiers of different job titles is a critical part of the exercise. Training is a lot of fun. You know, we've, we've learned a whole new job. So um, I, I didn't know what a Cow Scout did till I got here. So um, I definitely take that as a really good training. Different scenarios and elements challenge seasoned warriors and give those new to strategizing an introduction in what works and what does not. For those behind the scenes of the training, getting a soldier to absorb knowledge is at the heart of every lesson. In these scenarios, what they're gonna have to, uh, the key things they gotta focus on is their troop leading procedures and their plan. If they've got a good plan when they go into it, then we feel good that they're, they're gonna you know, be successful in the mission. The biggest expectation that myself, the squadron commander, and you know, the higher chain of command is, is that they learn. If they don't learn on these ranges, then they're not gonna take it forward. Training by day is challenging, but night training brings its own set of challenges. Oh, the biggest mistake is just, like I said, situational awareness, knowing who's around you, where they're at, and target positive identification because you don't want to shoot your buddy half fratricide because some of the targets do look like Humvees, some don't. Prior to them even coming out here for crew gunnery, they go ahead and do gunnery skills test and they have vehicle ID as one of their requirements and they have to pass it in order to move on. 3rd Armor Brigade Combat Team continues to raise the confidence and competence of its soldiers and leaders by providing realistic training opportunities such as the CALFEX. Specialist Toby Wall, Fort Carson, Colorado.